Hey everyone, today we're going to install a Victron shunt. The main reason I installed this is to monitor its state of charge. We've got a bunch of lithium batteries and a 3 kilowatt inverter. The reason I got such a large inverter is I have an electric KDM and I want to charge the battery on the fly. I used 95 square mil cable, which is quite wild, but your lights will probably be a little bit lower so you won't have to go so silly. Let's see what we get in the box. It's a 500 amp shunt. There's your part number. Nice little quick start guard, I think. couple of cables. I'll just show you quickly how I whipped up these cables. Here are some of the tools that I used. I've got a crimper, ratchet cutter makes cutting large cables pretty easy, Stanley knife and a heat gun for your heat shrink. Just planning the layout for the shunt and the circuit breaker. Got them mounted nicely here side by side. And the charge controller. Line sides on the top. I'll parallel all my batteries up the top just to do some testing. Big loads down the bottom, three kilowatt inverter. Yeah, let's see what happens. When mounting your shunt, Polarity is pretty important as it measures which way the current flows. It is quite well labelled so you can't mess it up. It's installed on the negative side of your circuit. Two little cables on the side here. One's for your auxiliary battery that you're monitoring. And the other one can be either your primary battery or a temperature sensor input. I'm using mine to measure the starting battery of this vehicle. Once you've installed your shunt, it's pretty easy to calibrate. Just jump into your app. Under your settings menu, press battery. Type in your capacity. And then when it's fully charged and top balanced, press synchronize. And that's all there is to it. This is what it looks like when it's finished and up and running. My fridge is currently on, pulling 4 amps, so we'll just jump into the shunt.
is all the nice info it gives you. I got a shunt, an inverter, and a charge controller in my Victron app. Put on a decent sized load. I got a heat gun here, connect to my 3 kilowatt inverter, and we'll just see how it goes. One thing I don't have connected is a little cable here on the V direct port. I may hook that up later and see if it gives us some more info in the app. So that's how I installed and set up my Victron shunt. I hope this video has given you some good info. As I make more progress, I'll make some more videos. Until then, thanks for watching and catch you later.